Let's go to the book of Zechariah. Vamos al libro de Zacarías. Chapter 3, capítulo 3. Zacarías, capítulo 3. Zechariah, chapter 3. Amen. Libro de Zacarías, capítulo 3. Zechariah, chapter 3. We're going to be reading verses 1 through through 3 Amen 1 through 4 Vamos a estar leyendo de los versos 1 al 4 Esta mañana I want you to stay with me I'm going to do my best to be bilingual this morning Voy a hacer lo mejor posible Ser bilingüe esta mañana Así que sea paciente conmigo Amen Amen The word of the Lord says And he showed me Joshua the high priest Standing before the angel of the Lord And Satan standing at his right hand At his right hand To resist him Me mostró al sumo sacerdote Josué El cual estaba delante del ángel de Jehová Y Satanás estaba a su mano derecha Para acusarle And the Lord said unto Satan The Lord rebuke thee, O Satan Even the Lord that had chosen Jerusalem rebuke thee Is not this a brand plucked out of the fire? Y dijo Jehová Satanás, Jehová te reprenda, oh Satanás. Jehová que ha escogido a Jerusalén te reprenda. ¿No es este un tizón arrebatado de la, del incendio? Now Joshua was clothed with filthy garments and stood before the angel. Y Josué estaba vestido de vestiduras viles y estaba delante del ángel. And he answered and spake unto those that stood before him, saying, Take away thy filthy garments from him. And unto him he said, Behold, I have caused thine iniquity to pass from thee, and I will clothe thee with change of raiment. Y habló el ángel y mandó a los que estaban delante de él, diciendo, Quitadle esas vestiduras viles. Y a él le dijo, Mira, que he quitado de ti tu pecado y te he hecho vestir de ropas de gala. I want to preach with this title in mind. Quiero predicar con este título en mente. Brands of fire. Quiero predicar con este título. Tizones encendidos. Tizones encendidos. Will you pray with me this morning? Ore conmigo en esta mañana. Heavenly Father, we come before your presence. Bendito Padre Celestial, venimos delante de tu presencia. Lord, I humbly surrender to you everything that I am and everything that I have. Humillamente, Señor, humillo todo y lo pongo todo de tus, delante de tus pies. Todo lo que soy y todo lo que tengo. Lord, I pray that you anoint my lips this morning. Ruego Dios que unjas mis labios en esta mañana I pray that you speak to us oh God from the heavens oro Señor que hables de los cielos a nuestras vidas Lord I pray that you minister to somebody in this place, oro que tú ministres a alguien en este lugar Lord glorify yourself like never before glorificate como nunca lo has hecho in Jesus mighty name I pray, en el nombre poderoso de Jesús, will you give them praise for about 30 seconds Puede darle alabanza por 30 segundos en esta mañana. Come on, shout unto the Lord with the voice of triumph. Clame, levante su voz con triunfo y júbilo. Aleluya. Aleluya, te alabamos, Señor. Aleluya, 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 aleluya. Thank you, Jesus. Gracias, Jesús. Amen, amen. Puede tomar su lugar. You may be seated in the presence of the Lord. The good old song uses the words when it talks about the grace of God. El canto antiguo usa las palabras cuando habla sobre la, la gracia de Dios. I was blind, but now I see. Ciego era más ahora veo la luz. And it talks about a wretched life. Habla de una vida vil. It talks about a life of sin. Habla sobre una vida de pecado. But if it had not been for the amazing grace of God, 
we wouldn't be where we are today. Pero si no hubiera sido por la gracia sublime de Dios, no estaríamos donde estamos en este día. Many of us are a living testimony. Muchos de nosotros somos un testimonio vivo. Just the fact that you are here is a great testimony. El hecho de que simplemente estás aquí es un gran testimonio. Because something could have happened on your way to church this morning. Algo podría haber sucedido en camino a la iglesia. Something could have happened last night. Algo podría haber sucedido por la noche. Maybe you wouldn't have woken up this morning. Quizás no hubieras despertado. Maybe you would have been in a hospital bed this morning. Podrías estar en una cama de hospital en esta mañana. You could be six feet underground. Podría estar seis pies bajo tierra. You could be in a cell. Podrías estar en una en una prisión. But by the amazing grace of God, pero por la gracia sublime de Dios, you are in the house of God. Estás en la casa de Dios, and He deserves your praise. El merece tu alabanza. He deserves your worship. El merece tu adoración. He deserves the glory. Merece la gloria and the honor. Y toda la honra. We are a living testimony. Somos un gran testimonio of that amazing grace, de esa sublime gracia. Many of us could testify today. Muchos de nosotros podríamos testificar hoy. If it had not been for the Lord, si no hubiera sido por el Señor. And, and, and when we testify, cuando lo testificamos, we begin to remember, comenzamos a recordar the place that God brought us out of. El lugar de donde Dios nos sacó. Many of you have different testimonies. Muchos de ustedes tienen diferentes testimonios. Not everyone comes from the same place. No todos vienen del mismo lugar. Not Not everyone has the same testimony. No todos tienen el mismo testimonio. And because we don't have the same testimony, y porque no tenemos el mismo testimonio, we don't have the same praise. No tenemos la misma alabanza. As a matter of fact, there's times where we don't understand other people's praise. Y en verdad, hay veces donde no conocemos y no entendemos la alabanza de alguien más. Because we have never been in their shoes. Porque no hemos estado en sus zapatos but just as many have been delivered pero así como muchos han sido liberados there's others that still need deliverance hay muchos que todavía necesitan liberación some of you were drug addicts muchos de ustedes eran drogadictos but God delivered you from drugs pero Dios te liberó de las drogas some of you were drunks muchos de ustedes eran borrachos but God delivered you from alcohol pero Dios te liberó del alcohol Some of you lived in sin. Muchos vivían en pecado. But by the grace of God. Pero por la gracia de Dios. By the mercy of God. Por la misericordia de Dios. Your sin has been forgiven. Tu pecado ha sido perdonado. And you are now made whole. Y ahora eres salvo. Our testimonies can be different. Nuestro testimonio puede ser diferente. Our praise can be different. Nuestra alabanza puede ser diferente. But the same God that delivered me, pero el mismo Dios que me ha liberado a mí, has delivered you. Ha liberado tu vida. Is the same God. This God is a God of opportunities. Este es Dios de oportunidad. He will never ask something from you that you cannot give him. Él nunca va a pedir de ti algo que tú no le puedes dar. He's always going to require a sacrifice. Siempre va a requerir un sacrificio. But there's always a little price that has to be paid. Pero siempre hay un precio que debe ser pagado. And, and, and if we talk about price and value, y si hablamos de precio y de valor, what can we say about that precious blood that was shed on the cross and Calvary for you and I que podemos hablar de la sangre preciosa que fue derramada en la cruz del Calvario por usted y por mí 
You see, if it had not been for the blood that washes us white as snow, si no hubiera sido por esa sangre que nos lava de todo pecado y nos hace blancos como la nieve, if it hadn't been for that atonement, brother James, si no hubiera sido por esa, amen, esa expiación, hermano, we would have been carrying, anduviéramos cargando all the filthiness in our life, todo la, todo lo vil en nuestras vidas the sin would not be washed away el pecado no hubiera sido borrado, his name wouldn't have power, su poder no hubiera tenido, su nombre no tuviera poder, as a matter of fact, if his blood hadn't been shed, his body wouldn't have died, si su sangre no hubiera sido derramada su, su cuerpo no hubiese muerto and if his body would have not died, he wouldn't have been a man put in a tomb si él no hubiera muerto no hubiera sido puesto en la tumba and if he hadn't been put in the tomb y si él no hubiera estado puesto en una tumba he wouldn't have risen in the third day we have a resurrection because there was a death and a burial hey, tenemos una resurrección porque hubo una muerte y sepultura and if he, if he had not risen from the dead si él no hubiera resucitado de los muertos In vain would be our preaching En vano sería nuestra predicación But all of this happened Todo esto sucedió To understand the mercy and the grace of God And for us to experience forgiveness of sin Todo esto sucedió Para que se experimentara no solamente la gracia y la misericordia de Dios Pero el perdón de pecados All of this was done. Todo esto fue hecho. That you and I may have life and have it abundantly. Todo esto sucedió para que usted y yo tengamos vida y vida en abundancia. I want you to stay with me for a little bit. Quiero que se quede conmigo. When we come to Christ, cuando venemos a Cristo, And we come with the filth of sin in this world. Y venemos a Cristo con esta, la, el vil del pecado y de las manchas de este mundo. We come in need of being washed, of being sanctified, and be, and be, and be, and be forgiven. Llegamos con la necesidad de ser lavados, perdonados y santificados. It is a process for us. That way that we may be clean from all worldliness and filthiness. Para que es un proceso para que seamos limpios de toda maldad y toda mundalidad. It is a process, es un proceso. And now as the people of God, como el pueblo de Dios, we have experienced it. Lo hemos experimentado. It's part of our testimony. Es parte de nuestro testimonio. But there's some people in this place, pero hay gente en este lugar, that may have not yet experienced what we have experienced. Que quizás no han experimentado lo que usted y yo hemos experimentado. And they are in need to experience what you and I have experienced. Y están en necesidad de experimentar lo que usted y yo hemos experimentado. You see, when we see the picture that, has, that is given to us in Zechariah. Cuando miramos el retrato que se nos da en Zacarías. First, we have to understand in what place they find themselves in. En que tenemos que darnos cuenta en qué lugar ellos están. The people of Israel had fallen uh, from the grace of God. El pueblo de Israel había fallado, había caído de la gracia de Dios. They had fallen into idolatry. Habían caído en idolatría. They had sinned before the Lord. Habían pecado ante el Señor. They had gone away and, and, and had turned their backs from God. Habían dado la espalda a Dios. They no longer wanted to serve God. Ya no querían servir a Dios. The priesthood, la, 
el sacerdocio had lost its authority, its spiritual authority. Había perdido el sacerdocio, su autoridad espiritual. They weren't sacrificing like they, they were to sacrifice. Ya no sacrificaban como deberían de sacrificar. They weren't working as they, it was commanded them to work. No estaban haciendo la obra como se les había ordenado obrar. It was a moment of, uh, 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 of, 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 of uh, it, was, it was a situation where they found themselves disconnected from God. Era un momento donde se encontraban desconectados de Dios. As a matter of fact, after Zechariah and Malachi existed, después de que Zacarías y Malaquías existieron, there was no voice from God. They had turned away from God. Ellos no hubo voz de Dios. Ellos se habían alejado de Dios. And then the Bible says, and to the day of the, and, and, and the day, since the day of John the Baptist until now. Y luego la Biblia dice, desde el día de Juan el Bautista hasta ahora, given to understand. It wasn't until the announcement of John the Baptist came that the Lord began to speak again. No fue hasta el anuncio de que Juan el Bautista iba a venir que Dios comenzó a hablar otra vez. But during the time of Zechariah, pero durante el tiempo de Zacarías, God began to speak speak through this man Dios comenzó a hablar por el medio de este hombre to prophesy what was going to happen in the future para profetizar lo que iba a venir en el futuro and see they were in, they were in filth already estaban ya en el pecado vil en el pecado vilmente they were already wretched in their sin ya estaban perdidos en sus pecados but there was a promise that one day había una promesa que un día there was going to be a priesthood iba a haber un sacerdocio that was going to sanctify them que los iba a santificar but when we see the scripture pero cuando miramos la escritura we are not introduced ex immediately to what's going to happen no somos introducidos exactamente a lo que va a suceder but he shows us a picture Pero nos enseña un retrato In this picture we see a priest named Joshua En este retrato miramos a un sacerdote llamado Josué Standing before the angel of the Lord Parado delante del ángel del Señor And Satan standing at his right side Y Satanás parado a su derecha To resist him Para Estar ahí y acusarle. Now you and I understand that as the people of God, usted y yo entendemos como el pueblo de Dios, the enemy is seeking who he may devour. El enemigo está buscando a quien devorar. I know that the enemy is trying to put us ashamed. Yo sé que el enemigo nos quiere avergonzar. He's leaking different areas and different ways where he can get in into our lives and into our families. Está buscando diferentes maneras para meterse a nuestras vidas y nuestras familias. That way he may begin to destroy what God has placed together, has put together. I'm sorry. Y, y, y todo es para destruir lo que Dios ha unido. He's, he's tried to affect your family. Ha tratado de afectar tu familia. He's tried to make you fall into sin. Ha tratado de causar de que caigas en pecado. He's tempted you. Te ha tentado. He's, he's brought uh, 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 other things that would get your attention. Trae cosas que traen tu atención. Because he knows that wow, you are in, car, in Christ. Porque sabe que mientras estás en Cristo, he, can, he can't destroy you. Él no te puede destruir. So he'll try to slowly begin to sneak into your life trata brevemente de meterse en su vida one way or another una manera o otra and I know that young men and young ladies we struggle you struggle with many of these things and plus you're going back to school and you're going to see some things you're going to experience some things sé que con los jóvenes batallan con cosas van a ver cosas van a sufrir cosas and the enemy is going to try to destroy you el enemigo va a querer destruirte he's going to try to get into into your life va a querer entrar en tu vida with the purpose that when the moment that you fall para el propósito que el momento que tú caigas he can stand before God Él puede pararse delante de Dios And resist you In other words He can shame you before God En otras palabras Él va a querer avergonzarte Delante de Dios
thoughts. Right. Come on, that's good right there. You see, that's what the sin, it's shame that the enemy places in your life to prove that you are not worthy of God. El pecado es la vergüenza que el enemigo pone sobre tu vida para que él se burle y él esté delante de Dios acusándote. The only thing that Satan wants to do is prove God that his greatest creation cannot serve him like he didn't serve him. Lo que el enemigo quiere hacer es ir delante de Dios y acusar a su creación más hermosa de que nosotros no podemos servir a Dios como él no le sirvió a Dios. And so he's ready to shame the people of God. He's ready to accuse the people of God. Está listo para avergonzar al pueblo de Dios. He está listo para ponerte en vergüenza delante de Dios. And we see the picture of this priest. Miramos el retrato de este de este sacerdote. Now you have to understand the picture of this priest here. El retrato de este de este sacerdote. And the role of, of this priest in the picture. Y el rol de este sacerdote en el retrato. It represents the restoration of the priest of Israel. Está hablando, está representando la restauración del sacerdocio de Israel. In the future, God was going to restore the priesthood. En el futuro, Dios iba a restaurar el sacerdocio. It wasn't going to be according to the uh, uh, to Aaron's covenant. Aaron's covenant no iba a ser de acuerdo al pacto de Aarón, but it was going to be according to the Melchizedek covenant. Pero iba a ser de acuerdo al pacto del Melchizedek, where Jesus was now going to be our priest. Donde Jesús iba a ser nuestro sacerdote. It's a, it's a picture of the future. Es el retrato del futuro. But if we can see what's happening in that moment. Moment. Pero si podemos mirar lo que está sucediendo en ese momento, it's somebody that is, is that is in charge of the work of God. Es alguien que está encargado de la obra de Dios. Somebody that has a responsibility in God. Es alguien que tiene una responsabilidad en Dios. That's you and I. Not just pastor. No solamente el pastor. No solamente el asistente pastor. Not just the assistant pastor, not just the singers and the praise team, no solamente los cantores or the musicians, los músicos but every saint of God pero cada santo de Dios, we are not priests and we are now kings before God, ahora somos reyes y sacerdotes ante Dios, so if you just allow me for a little bit to use the priest Joshua as our lives, si me permite usar al sacerdote Josué como nuestras vidas us. We have fallen short of God like Israel. Hemos fallado a Dios como Israel le falló a Dios. We fallen short of the glory of God. Caímos de la gloria de Dios. But yet when we are standing in front of God pero aun cuando estamos parados delante de Dios the mercy of God has not changed. En la misericordia de Dios no ha cambiado. Yes, He delivered us in the past but now his grace will be extended again. Si sí, nos liberó en el pasado, pero ahora su gracia se va a extender otra vez. We're standing before the angel of the Lord. Estamos parados delante del ángel del Señor. We are priests. Somos sacerdotes. We part we are part of the people of God. Somos parte del pueblo de Dios. And Satan is right there trying to put you to shame. El enemigo está ahí tratando de avergonzarte, telling you you're not worth it, diciendo que no eres digno, saying and telling you and reminding you of your failures and about your weaknesses, recordándote de tus fallas y tus debilidades but I've understood something he entendido algo that in my weakness he is made perfect que en mi debilidad él se hace fuerte 
You see, it's not, it's not by my strength. No es por mi fuerza. I'm never going to be enough by myself. Yo nunca voy a ser autosuficiente. I need God on my side. Yo necesito a Dios de mi lado. The enemy comes my way. El enemigo viene en contra de mí. The temptations come our way. Tentaciones vienen en nuestro camino. Amen. Problems come our way. Sicknesses come our way. But greater is he who's within us than he that is in the world. Hey, do I have a witness in this place this morning? Me pregunto si hay un testigo. Porque pueden venir las pruebas. Pueden venir las tentaciones. Pueden venir las aflicciones. El enemigo puede atacar. Pero mayor es el que está conmigo que aquel que está en el mundo. Habrá un testigo en la casa esta mañana. We're right there standing before the Lord. Parados delante del Señor. The enemy right there. El enemigo está ahí. But then God speaks. Pero luego Dios habla. You see, the enemy is going to always try to put you to shame. El enemigo siempre va a querer avergonzarte. But God. Yeah, pero Dios, más Dios. God sees the other side of things. Dios ve las otras áreas, de, 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 el otro lado de, las, de la moneda, en otras palabras. The moment that the enemy is mocking the priest, el momento que el enemigo está burlándose del sacerdote, the moment that the enemy, that, that Satan is, 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 is um, is shaming, is shaming the priest. Está avergonzando al sacerdote. The Lord rebukes him. El Señor lo reprende. If we were talking about the history, si estuviéramos hablando, we understand that the Lord rebukes the Satan because he's, he's messing with his holy priest priesthood of his holy nation entendemos que él reprende a Satanás porque está burlándose de su pueblo santo y su sacerdocio santo but if we see it in our lives pero si lo miramos en nuestras vidas the enemy will laugh at us and God will rebuke him el enemigo se va a burlar y Dios lo va a reprender because the moment that you and I were washed in his name we belong to him por el momento que fuimos nosotros lavados en su nombre comenzamos a pertenecer a él you don't mess with God's people no te metes con el pueblo de Dios he may allow some things to happen quizás él va a permitir que ciertas cosas sucedan but I'm telling you pero le digo the enemy will not be able to destroy you completely unless God says never mind al menos de que Dios diga sabe que hazlo, but God will not let his enemies de destroy his people, pero Dios no va a permitir que sus enemigos destruyan a su pueblo he rebukes Satan, reprende a Satanás the Lord of Jerusalem rebukes thee el Dios, aun del Dios de Jerusalén te reprenda and then he has the question and he says, isn't this a brand plucked out of the fire? ¿Qué no es este un tizón encendido del fuego? You see, one, one, one thing had, was going to happen. Algo iba a suceder. They were going to experience in the new priesthood. They were going to experience an, a fire that was going to change things around. En, en el futuro, en el sacerdocio futuro, iban a experimentar un fuego que iba a cambiar las cosas. And at that moment when he's talking about the priest and being a brand uh, uh, plucked out of the fire, the enemy was talking, it's, a, it's trying to give us to understand that once that priest was on fire for God, was filled with the power of the Holy Ghost, the enemy was going to come and try to get him out of there and bring him to shame before God for his filthiness. Lo que iba a hacer era sacarlo del fuego y traerlo delante 
delante de Dios y avergonzarlo por su mundanidad, por su, sus viles pecados. Pero Dios no miró lo vil peca, el pecador. God did not see the filthiness in his life. God was seeing the fire that was inside of him. Dios estaba mirando el fuego que estaba en él. What I want to say to somebody, lo que quiero decirle a alguien en esta mañana, is not much of what your failures are. No son tus fracasos. It's not whether you sin or not. No es si fallas, si pecas o no. But it's the moment that you were consumed with the fire of the Holy Ghost. El momento que fuiste consumido por el fuego del Espíritu Santo. That you became a brand of fire. Que llegaste a ser un tizón encendido. The enemy will try to get you out of the fire. El enemigo va a querer sacarte del fuego. But God will see that glow in your life. Dios va a ver el brillo en tu vida. And whether the enemy wants to put you to shame. Sea que el enemigo quiera avergonzarte. God will not see the shame. God will see the glow of the fire. Dios no va a ver la vergüenza del pecado. Dios va a ver el brillo del fuego de Dios en tu vida. You see, it is the moment where we begin to be on fire for God. Es el momento cuando nos encendemos de Dios. That the enemy really wants to destroy you. Que el enemigo quiere destruirte. You see, you can come to church and just come and sit down. Puedes llegar al culto y solamente sentarte. Not be involved in church. The enemy is not going to move you. It's not te involucras en la iglesia. El enemigo no te va a mover. You may say, Brother Tenoco, I'm not feeling nothing of what you're saying. Puedes decir, hermano. No estoy sintiendo nada de lo que tú estás diciendo. The enemy doesn't tempt me. El enemigo no me tienta. I don't have any problems at home. Yo no tengo problemas en mi hogar. I, I, I don't feel discouraged. Yo no me siento desanimado. Brother, I, I, I just come to the house of God and I feel good. Vengo a la casa de Dios y me siento bien. I'm telling you, if you feel comfortable in the house of God, something's not right. Si te sientes cómodo en la casa de Dios, algo no está bien. Bien. Somebody's got to do something. Alguien tiene que hacer algo. Where the enemy's not going to be too happy with you. Donde el enemigo no va a estar muy contento contigo. But brother, why am I? Why do I want to stir up the enemy? Porque porque quiero enojar al enemigo. It's not that you're stirring up the enemy. No es que estás anim, uh, 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 estás molestando al enemigo. Is that you're so into God? Es que estás tan dentro en Dios that the enemy doesn't want that to happen for you. Que el enemigo no quiere eso en tu familia. Have you experienced? Has experimentado the moment that you begin to pray and fast. El momento que comienzas a orar y ayunar. That your marriage starts to crumble. Que tu matrimonio comienza a pasar crisis. The moment that you begin to worship God more freely, your family begins to, 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 to criticize you. Cuando comienzas a alabar a Dios más libremente, tu familia comienza a criticarte. Have you noticed that when you begin to give more unto the Lord, que cuando comienzas a dar más al Señor, the debts get a little bigger. Quizás deudas se crecen. And the enemy wants to steal your faith in giving y el enemigo quiere quitarte la fe en el dar because the moment that you do something for God porque en el momento que tú haces algo para Dios the enemy begins to attack your faith el enemigo comienza a atacar tu fe he begins to try to turn off the fire in your life comienza a tratar de apagar el fuego en tu vida he begins to look at the little small details of your life comienza a ver los detalles más pequeños de tu vida oh you don't pray oh you don't fast oh you don't worship oh look at you trying to speak in tongues and, and, and you were doing this last week mira estás tratando de hablar en lenguas y estabas haciendo esto el otro día oh you 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 want to you, you want to run around the church and yet uh, uh, you were talking about pastor and you were talking about the ministry santo Dios uh, 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 quieres hablar del pastor pero quieres estar corriendo en la iglesia 
and he begins to bring those little details into life and and begins to put you to shame where where you don't you don't want to praise God like you usually do ya no quieres alabar a Dios como antes alababas a Dios you don't feel the presence of God like you once felt the presence of God ya no sientes la presencia de Dios como antes sentías la presencia de Dios and, and the fact is that he brought he took you out of that fire él te sacó de ese fuego and now he's putting you to shame y ahora te está avergonzando and, 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 and you you can feel satisfied with just coming to church and, and, and looking at everybody worship and go back home like nothing happened y puedes sentirte cómodo venir a la iglesia mirar todos alabar a Dios y regresarte a casa como que si nada sucedió and you're comfortable with that y estás cómodo con eso but I'm, I'm going to say I'm going to tell you you today pero yo deje decirte hoy it's time to get on fire again for God es tiempo de encenderte en fuego otra vez the enemy tries to take you out of the fire el enemigo quiere sacarte del fuego somebody's gotta fight back to get in the fire alguien tiene que luchar para meterse al fuego otra vez you see the moment that God sees the fire and rebukes Satan. El momento que Dios reprende a Satanás porque observa el fuego en el sacerdote. He calls for a change of garments. Habla por un cambio de vestiduras. He was dressed in... in, 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 in shameful and vile garments in wretched garments estaba vestido con vestiduras de pecado llenas de maldad sucias but yet the fire that was in him el fuego que estaba en él was preparing him to change his garments. Lo estaba preparando para cambiar sus vestiduras. You see, in the future, in the prophecy of what's happening in that picture, it was only going to be through the, through, through, through the power that Jesus has that the garments of sin were going to change for the priesthood to be clothed in garments of, 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 of cleanliness. Clean garments, white garments, pure garments. And see, every single one of us could say that we are, as of this, this priest, dressed in garments wretched of sin. Black, sinful garments. But there's something about the fire. How many of you guys like to grill? Who likes to grill with charcoal? You guys that grill with gas, you guys are, I don't know about you guys. I'm from Texas, we like the charcoal stuff. Brother James, when you get that charcoal, cuando agarra ese tizón y va a comenzar la parrilla, that charcoal's black. Está, está negro el, el, el tizón. But the moment that the fire begins to burn it, el momento que el fuego comienza a consumirlo, that black begins to disappear. Lo negro comienza a desaparecer. And then you begin to see a glow. Comienzas a ver un brillo. And with time it turns white. Con el tiempo com se convierte en blanco. If you don't know what a brand of fire is, it's basically a, a charcoal for Texans. You know, we're, we're, we're fire, on fire charcoals. Amen. That's why if, if you go to, you know, even in Spanish churches, you guys know what we're talking about. Los hispanos saben que estoy hablando. No solamente en las fiestas, pero en la iglesia también. Amen. Somos tizones encendidos. The moment you get into 
church. Amen. The moment you get the worship going, amen, we can be clothed. We could be full of, of filthiness of this, this week and, and so many problems and so many things and we heard so many stuff and, 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 and people said this and people said that. But the moment that we come before God, amen, that, that filthiness begins to disappear. That, 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 that glow begins to fire up again inside of us. And, and the glory of God begins to fill us. And then with time, there's a process right there that we begin to get sanctified and get purified again where we can become white as snow again. You see, it's all a process. The enemy was trying to shame the priest, but God was seeing the fire that was taking him from worldliness to holiness. What God was seeing was seeing the fire that was taking him from, from being dressed in filth to being dressed in glory. And I'm telling somebody this morning, the enemy will try to destroy your life. The enemy will try to make fun of you. The enemy will try to shame you. But while there's a glow in your life, while there's still a fire in your life, the enemy is not going to be able to keep you in filthiness. God is going to take you to cleanliness. Oh, the enemy won't take you to worldliness. God will take you to holiness. I'm telling you, somebody's got to stir up that fire once again. That fire that will purify. That, that fire that will sanctify. That fire that only the fire of the Holy Ghost can change your life around. You see, the priest could have given up. The priest could have surrendered. The priest could have said, you know what, I, I don't want anything. He's making fun of me. God, I'm just going to quit. But oh, I could see that priest standing before God and just uh, worshiping him and standing before him. And God seeing that glow in him. Understanding this guy is a brand of fire. This God is not just anybody. He's, not, he's, he, he's a God that's, uh, that wants more of me. He's a, he's a person that desires more of my presence. He's not just somebody that's wasting my time. He's not just somebody that comes to see a show at church. No, this guy worships me. This guy desires me. This guy wants of my presence, desires of my glory. I'm going to defend him. I'm going to protect him. And I'm going to use him for my glory again. You see, when we use, when we worship God, when we praise God, it's not in vain what we're doing God is seeing everything everything that we do when we do it with our heart when we do it with all of our soul amen you're not just wasting your time you're not just standing here to clapping your hands just to clap your hands you're here and the moment that you clap your hands the moment that you stop your feet the moment that you lift up your hands and your voice it's a praise that is touching the heavens that whether the enemy is trying to destroy you God is standing up for you. God is fighting for you. God is rebuking the enemy for you. It is that moment that God begins to transfer you and transition you from that sinful state of living to a new life. It is that moment that God begins to purify you of all of your sins. I'm telling you, church, we all have a testimony. We were all once in that wretched life, but now we are saved by His grace. We were once maybe dressed in all the filthiness of the world but one day the fire of the Holy Ghost fell upon us and trans changed us and sanctified us and purified us I'm telling somebody this morning whatever you need from God God can do it with just a touch of the Holy Ghost and fire oh God can really do something if you just allow the fire of God to consume your life it was through that fire as we stand to our feet this morning. It was through fire that God would exalt himself. It was through fire that God would glorify himself. It was through fire, amen, that God would move among his people. Amen. It was through fire that God would manifest in the worst times of need. Amen. And sometimes what we need to do and remember is that in the fire, God begins 
begins to work. Amen. The moment that that the, the Satan started to 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 stand, uh, Amen, uh, uh, and, and, and to mock and to shame the priest uh, Joshua. Amen. God was right there, and what God saw was a was what God saw was a, a brand of fire. He saw somebody that was on fire for him. He saw somebody that was passionate for him. I'm telling you, somebody's got to get passionate for God again. Somebody's got to get on fire for God again. Somebody's got to desire God again. Somebody's got to pray like they once prayed. Somebody's got to outreach like somebody outreached before. Amen. Somebody's got to reach souls like you used to reach souls again. Somebody's got to stir up the gift of the fire of God that is in them again. Hallelujah. If you have the gift of the Holy Ghost, if you have the fire burning, will you lift up your hands and your voice right now and praise God with the utterance of the tongues in your life. It hasn't been perfect. Brother Cooper, he hasn't been uh, all good. Hallelujah. There's been times where I've been tried. There's been times where I've been pressured. There's been times where the enemy has tried to accuse me. There's been times where he's tried to put me to shame. Oh, but thank God he saw the fire. Thank God he saw the glow. He could have destroyed. He could have gotten rid of me, Brother Nathan. God could have gotten rid, could have gotten rid of me, but he saw the glow of the Holy Ghost. Brother James, he, 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 he wasn't supposed to give me another chance. But he saw a glow in me. You weren't supposed to be here. But there was a glow in you. While Satan was trying to shame you. While Satan was trying to laugh in your face, oh, God rebuked him. Isn't he a brand plucked out of the fire? Wasn't he on fire once? What are you doing, Satan? What do you think you're doing, Satan? He was on fire. He outreached. He was an usher. She was a hostess at church. She sang in the choir. You see, some of you guys have family members that we used to be on fire for God. And the enemy was able to accuse them before God. Put them to shame before God. And they allowed the enemy to put them to shame. Now they don't want to come to church because they don't know how people are going to react to them. They don't want to come to the house of God because they don't know how, how they're going to be received. Oh God. You see, that's what the enemy wants. But thank God he sees the glow. Thank God he sees the fire. Thank God he recognizes us. He recognizes that we are we are we were once on fire and because we were once on fire and because we were plucked out of the fire he's willing to change our clothing and our garments from from filthiness to those garments of glory to those holy garments from 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 filthy garments to white holy garments from a sinful life to a sanctified life <laughs> from a life full of sin to a life full of the Holy Ghost we all have a testimony we've all been there and we all can be here if you're not where the fire is 
if you're if you're in a sinful place in your life and you just need God to redeem you you need God to forgive you you need God to sanctify you maybe the enemy is just mocking you and just laughing at you and just putting you to shame I want you to just trust God God sees something in you God sees more than what we can see God see God can see somebody that will be on fire for him God sees somebody that will be a testimony God sees somebody that's going to be sanctified and holy and purified so this morning I want to extend that opportunity to you if you are here this morning you've never accepted the Lord as your Savior if you've never repented of your sins and you today you say you want to surrender your life to God and today you say I want I want to live for Jesus I want Jesus to forgive me I want Jesus to to wash me and today you want to receive the gift of the Holy Ghost I want you this morning I want you to come up here amen I want you to come to the front if you have uh, if you have the Holy Ghost and you just seem like you need to just rekindle the fire if you just feel like you need to to wash yourself and purify yourself and sanctify yourself again if you feel like the enemy has been right there trying to destroy you I want you to come up here God can feel you God can refill you you can be on fire you can rekindle the fire God is in this right now God wants to do something for you oh the enemy can't destroy your life God will not allow him to destroy you God will not allow him to affect your life God will not allow you to be part God will rebuke the enemy right now in the name of Jesus and God will begin to stir up some things in your life God wants to see your your life on fire again God wants to see you serving your purpose again God wants to see you worshiping again